So today I'm going to be doing a bit of an interior remodeling of this area. Hold on, someone wants to be in the video. Max? Hi. Hi. Okay. So this area, let me show you what's going on here. So this roof, that roof, used to not exist. This area was just open. And what we had here was a lovely sweet potato patch. And you can still see we've got a bit of sweet potato here. Now that area, that section of the sweet potato patch is still open to the air and the water, but this area no longer is. And for a while we thought maybe it wouldn't matter because sweet potato is a vine, but it doesn't really seem to be doing much of anything. And we blocked this area off with this little pallet fence because we were having some pig problems. And even though this is like right next to where we hang out all day, um, we still wanted to ensure that our sweet potatoes were safe. So we have this little fence right here that blocks this area off as a little garden. But now it's a nice... The re I mean, the reason why we put in the cover is because we were getting rain in kind of horizontally this way diagonally and it was coming onto like our table and our main area here so we were thinking it's not doing much for us here and it could be an expanded living area so I'm going to be taking out this pallet fence which is currently it's attached that's me trying to shake it loose um, it's just nailed together with some bits of scrap like this so I'm just going to be using a hammer to take it out and then we'll probably put in maybe more counter space or seating not entirely clear we'll experiment but basically this will give us more more dry floor space which is really at a premium where we live so i just wanted to show you the before and then i'll come back and show you the after all right, so I got these main three sections of fence out and they can be repurposed in other places in the garden, wherever we need to have a little half-size pallet fence, which is perfect for preventing a small pig from jumping over it, which they do. Uh, so one of the main benefits of doing things kind of lightly and ad hoc is, you know, these pieces, they didn't really have to do much work. They just had to... Oh, there goes Tux having to investigate the new region, of course. But it means it's easy to take apart. So, you know, we didn't make it perfect. We didn't cover it up. We didn't have to have, like, the most rock-solid fence. What that means is that you can try stuff out, and if you don't like it, if it doesn't work how you need it to work, then, you know, you can just get rid of it. And a lot of the time, you don't know ahead of time what you're going to need a particular space to do or what you need it to do changes over time as, you know, you build up your infrastructure or as the things that you do change. So that's one of the re one of the benefits, I think, to building things in what some may call a shoddy fashion. I don't consider it shoddy. I just consider it easy to change. Right, Tux? What do you think, Tux? Thoughts? No thoughts. I've now cleared out all the sweet potatoes and other kinds of plants and just to see what was in there so we have a nice blank slate to work with. Uh, I moved all the, it was really just the mulch, it's rock right there. Uh, I moved all the mulch and sticks over to this side. I don't know if I'm going to leave them there. There's just potatoes under there and they'll happily come up from under there. I found some interesting things in here. Here are some sweet potato vines. These can be planted somewhere else. Uh, I also found a bunch of like little baby gingers. Baby gingers. Or turmeric rather. This looks like a baby turmeric. Some really, really tiny ones. Look at that. Even tinier. I'm just leaving these in this pot for now. Next step is figure out, I have this ancient table, this ancient plastic folding table that's just been sitting there. I'm going to try to set it up here because we really just need this to be kind of like a garden area where we can, you know, sort beans or put various seeds that need to go out. So 
doesn't have to be particularly level. It doesn't have to be a fancy table. It can be a nasty table. We'll see if it even works. I don't. I haven't looked at that table in a year. Also, give me a chance to sort of prune this little hillside a little bit. It is fun to have it be totally wild, but you know, some things. You know, take took out some grass, took out some dry stuff. I have a few anthuriums growing in there. There's a chance when you get a nice hillside, you can do some anthuriums hiding in there. And these are sort of, uh, these are bamboo orchids that make flowers. We got ferns in there. We got a vanilla plant in there. So, yeah, we'll see. Here's what it looks like. Everything removed, taken out. I'm going to try setting that table up. Look at that. Look at this nice table. Oh, yeah. This is about as clean as we need it to be. I cleaned it with like a mix of soap and water and just dumped a bunch of water on it. I was thinking of using bleach because look at all this stuff. But, you know, there's a bunch of plants and stuff under there. I don't want to get bleach in there. So I just use soap and water. And this is as clean as we need it to get. I, you know, we're going to use it as kind of like preparing potting little seeds and maybe sorting our beans and all that. So... We can put stuff under there, you know, anything that we need to store, use it. It's pretty sturdy. I didn't even have to, you know, I just kind of found the right spot where it wanted to fit. And on top of that, there's a cool creepy hole down here. A nice puka. That's what they call it here. It's pretty cold in there. There's your, there's your refrigeration right there. That's where we can maybe put our kimchi when we need to when we need to to stop fermenting. So yeah, that's basically it. And now I'm gonna let it dry off a little bit and put stuff on it because we have a lot of stuff that we need to move, like that cat. No, just kidding. Cat's not gonna go. All right, I'll be back and I'll show you how it is. And here we are, the final product. All set up, kitchen garden table, ready to go. Let me give you a tour. We've got our junk box. We've got our plant cuttings that are sitting in water. We've got our drying beans, shelling beans, veggies, fruits. Down here we have some, those are homebrew that are cooking. That's a very big homebrew that's cooking. This is a bean bucket storage. This is some kitchen mulch we need mulch all around you know as we're prepping seeds filling topping up the compost these are seed out box those are papaya seeds and everything is nice and covered plus it frees up some storage in some of our other kitchen areas it frees up this table to be something else yeah and we can put away all those veggies and stuff when it's night time yeah anyway Thank you for joining me on this indoor-outdoor remodeling project. I hope it gave you some ideas for some things that you can do with a nice indoor-outdoor space that you build yourself. Right, Tux? Right. All right. Till next time. Bye-bye.